Uh, I thought we had a good second half. We had a good second half. Uh, we, we came out and didn't have a good first quarter, but the, the second quarter, really, we, we was never able to absorb that. You know, they took advantage of us the second quarter. They got whatever they wanted, beat us by 23 in the quarter. And uh, it was just, it was uphill from there. But I thought the second half we came out and played better, played harder, played faster. And, uh, you know, we was able to be competitive in those two quarters. Is that a situation where they just kind of figured it out or are you coming to the half and kind of set it straight? Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, that's us having, you know, having a good halftime uh, discussion. Uh, Keon, uh, seems like you, you know, 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 he's been aggressive. His shot's falling uh, right now. He's doing a good job attacking the basket. Uh, with his athleticism, he should always be attacking, you know, and trying to finish over guys. But, uh, yeah, he, he's he's been a bright spot. He's playing well. Hey, Coach, I wanted to ask you about Keon as well. Does he – I know it's early and he's been with the team not that long, got all summer, et cetera. But does he have rotation potential sooner rather than later for you guys? Yeah, that's um. He's a talented kid, and I think that that's all going to be determined by the work that he puts Recording in. Recording in progress. You know, um, it's going to be hopefully. You know, it's going to be really hard to get in our rotation next year, and so that's got to be his focus. And even some of our other young guys to say, "Dang, we 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 got to level up." So that's it's really going to depend on him, the work he puts in. Um, and how quickly he develops, but I, I've been very happy with him. Um, how he's continuing to get better and better every single game. Thanks. Seems like too, just in general, a lot of these guys are getting better. Yeah. How much does getting this this time help a guy like you know, or a guy like you know, Grant yeah. Williams, or, yeah. or a guy like Louis Bank? Well, it, it helps him a ton. It really does. Um, from a, from a Confidence standpoint, I think when you got young players, um, they one have to gain the respect of the veterans on the team, and the trust of the veterans on the team, the trust of the staff. Um, but you always got to be thinking, you know, if if we have a healthy cast, some of their roles won't be to be scoring 18, 20 points. You know, it's going to be to find out how you can best play with the stars and with the vets. Um, so they don't have that luxury of trying to figure that out right now. You know, they have to just try to do the best that they can, and I think they're all doing a good job at that. Coach, you mentioned during the season how inexperienced is this group of guys that you have at this stage, but after those type of struggles that you have, what what did you learn or what stands out to you about the way that your players react? Well, I mean, they've taken some they've taken some blows um, and they, they've been able to, you know, get up off the mat, you know, and keep competing, keep playing together um, and not lose their focus, even though you get down big in a game or, you know, you, you lose a game that you had had at the, you know, could have ch- had a chance to win at the end. They come back and play hard the next game. I mean, I've been I've been happy about our resilience um, as a team, you know, and a lot of young guys. Uh, that's that's not just something that you have, you know. A lot, it's easy to hang your head um, and lose confidence. These guys, none of them have done that. 